I'm Brian Crisberg, Chair of the Columbia Alumni Association, and you're listening to the What's New Digest, a collection of news items brought to you by The Record, Columbia Magazine, and other sources around the university. This year, Colombians had a great deal of impact around the world. President Barack Obama, Class of 83, Columbia College, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Class of 59, the Law School, Tom Frieden, Class of 86, Physicians and Surgeons, and Rula Ghani, Class of 83, Journalism, are among those listed on Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People list. GSAS alumna Dr. Marina Rustow and Associate Professor Kartik Chandran were two of the 24 recipients of this year's Genius Grant Awards from the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. Pulitzer Prizes were awarded to Gregory Pardlow, who teaches in the undergraduate writing program while earning his Master's of Fine Arts in Nonfiction at the School of the Arts for Poetry, and Kathleen Kingsbury, Class of 2004 School of the Arts for Editorial Writing. Class of 97 School of the Arts alumna Lisa Cholodenko's four-part miniseries Olive Kitteridge, which aired on HBO in November 2014, swept the 67th Primetime Emmy Awards. It won eight awards overall, including Outstanding Limited Series. President Lee C. Bollinger and former journalism dean Nicholas Lemon launched Columbia Global Reports, a publishing imprint that will cover the complexity of globalization, starting with coverage of the global impact of the U.S. mortgage crisis and a Chinese smartphone company that is influencing worldwide communications. Provost John Coatsworth announced the grants from the President's Global Innovation Fund, supporting faculty who are developing projects that increase opportunities for research, teaching, and service around the world. And this fall, as part of Colombia's World Leaders Forum, leaders from Bangladesh, Chile, Croatia, Colombia, Kosovo, Mozambique, and the Ukraine spoke at the university. The Startup Columbia Festival in April brought together the Columbia and Barnard entrepreneurial community in celebration of innovation, entrepreneurship, and the creation of new ventures. Columbia Giving Day was October 21st, an opportunity for Colombians around the world to join together for 24 hours of giving back, connecting, and winning matching gifts for a wide array of schools, programs, and initiatives. This year, Giving Day raised over $12 million in 24 hours, with a total of 13,090 gifts for Columbia schools and programs. Columbia University's rare book and manuscript library has acquired the archive of pioneering ballet dancer, artistic director, and choreographer Arthur Mitchell, the first African-American principal dancer of a major ballet company, who went on to found the Dance Theater of Harlem. The Columbia football team, under the leadership of its new head coach, Al Bagnoli, picked up its first victory since November 2012. The 2015 Columbia Lions baseball season concluded with seven alumni reaching the professional ranks. Katie Miley, class of 13 Columbia College, former member of the Columbia women's swimming and diving team, won gold at the Pan American Games, registering the second fastest 100 meter breaststroke time in the world. And the Columbia men's tennis team won the Ivy League championship after recording an undefeated season. The first buildings on Columbia's Manhattanville campus, the Jerome L. Green Science Center, home of the Zuckerman Institute, and the Lenfest Center for the Arts are scheduled to open in 2016. Columbia University Medical Center is building a state-of-the-art medical and graduate education building designed by Diller, Scofidio, and Renfro on the Medical Center campus. The School of Nursing is constructing its new home for the future of nursing education, research, and clinical practice. Columbia Magazine, whose readership includes Columbia alumni around the world, is now available in the App Store or Google Play as a free app. Take a copy with you wherever you go. 
From the United States to the United Arab Emirates, and from Nepal to Nigeria, Columbia Connects brought hundreds of alumni together to celebrate their ties to the university and each other. In late September and early October, events were held in 65 cities. Scores of others engaged through online networking platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Thank you for listening and stay connected.